gotta understand that we get one chance, one chance. You, you will never regret the things that we'll do. Cause I Good morning from Holly Studios. Who loves free merch? Joshua loves free merch. Good morning guys, we are on day four of our Disney vacation. We are at Hollywood Studios, back here again. Um, my parents are meeting us. They are on their way from the buses we drove over. It is Disney Plus Day. They're handing out free ears and buttons. <laughs> so we got some for the family and Josh is proudly the poster boy for Disney Plus today. So we have the girls, we're all dressed in our Mickey and Minnie little outfits. I just have on a red dress with black shorts under. I have my Mickey ears for later. Josh has his Mickey shirt. Miss. Lila's looking so cute in her black romper and Minnie Mouse bows. Yeah, you got a button too. And then Miss Smiley Nora, she's in her first time, first trip to Disney onesie with Minnie that Josh printed and we ironed on a vinyl for her. So she's got that going on and she has her Minnie Mouse um, bow ears to put on later too. So hopefully we'll get a good family picture. We're just hanging out at the front of the park um, during early entry. We got in at 8 o'clock this morning. The park officially opens at 9, and our goal is to get on Mickey and Minnie's in our Mickey and Minnie outfits first this morning. And I did purchase the Rise of the Resistance Genie Plus individual attraction. So we have that purchased and set. So our callback time, I think, was like around 1 o'clock ish. Josh and Lila are going to be building a droid today. We're just going to explore Star Wars Land. That's kind of the only area we didn't do at Hollywood Studios um, on Tuesday when we were here. And then who knows? Maybe Maybe we'll hop on some other rides. Lila has become a roller coaster fiend after Guardians of the Galaxy yesterday at Epcot. So who knows? She may want to try. She can't go on rock and roller coasters because she's too short for that one yet. But she may make it brave enough for Tower of Terror. But we'll see. And we're truly trying. It's so hard. We feel like every day we say we're gonna go back to the resort and take a break in the afternoon for a rest and go back out. We just like keep getting excited and go, go, go. And the kids are doing great. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, we are off to Mickey and Minnie's because Gigi and Pop have arrived. Those are boba pearls. You can have one. It'll stop fizzing eventually, but take a little sip. Ready? You made a baby eight? What color did you make? I made a red, it's red for and the silk. body, and I got a gray head for the white head. Oh, I can't wait to see him. Can we play with him when we get back to the hotel? Sure. Oh my gosh, was it so we much fun? I didn't get her in the backpack. We got to control him from the phone, but actually got a little control. 
Okay, friends, coming to you from Batu Galaxy's Edge at Hollywood Studios. We've been walking around, it's so hot. I am perched on a rock watching Nora while she naps. Everyone else has gone in for our lightning lane for Rise of the Resistance. We did a rider swap, so they're all going in to use their lightning lane, and then Josh and I are going to be able to go on, just the two of us, and my parents are going to watch the kids, so I can go on Rise of the Resistance. If you guys are planning to come in the summer or September when it's still really hot, it is like midday. It is like 12.45 right now. We have these cooling towels. I'm going to link them in the description as well as fans, all the fans. So I picked up this one. Um, it's like a Mr. Fan before our trip for Lila. She's been using it. I've been using it when she's not. And then Nora has her fan that has three speeds and the battery has lasted so well we just charged it every night when we go back to the hotel room and it's basically like her own little air conditioned uh, nap room inside of her stroller it's been helping so much i love tons of water hydrate hydrate so yeah it's been really fun it is super busy here at hollywood studios today it's disney plus day which we didn't know about when we booked our trip um, and compared to just being here two days ago on Tuesday, it is like a million times different. All of the rides have super long lines. On Tuesday, we were walking on everything. So I'm really glad that we got in here on Tuesday and rode a bunch of stuff. And now we're just kind of wrapping up. We did Star Wars Land today. We did Mickey and Minnie's. We went to Oga's Cantina, which was so fun. It was a great little um, rest spot. It was nice and cold in there. Lila got a really fun drink too, and we all had just had drinks. Yes, I brought my baby in a bar, but it's a family bar at Disney World, so it doesn't count, right? Um, anyway, it was so much fun. So we've done a bunch of things, um, and then after this, it's getting hot, and also it's supposed to rain, I think, this afternoon. So we don't know really what our plans are. We're gonna go back to the hotel, take a little bit of a break and a rest. We're on day four of Disney. We definitely need it. So go there for a couple hours and then we need to get to Magic Kingdom for fireworks tonight because it's our only night to see them um, with my parents. So hopefully we get over there. Hopefully the rain goes away by this evening so we can see the fireworks and they're not canceled. So that's the plan for the rest of the afternoon. So we'll check in with you guys later. Rise of the Resistance. It was good. I thought it was really fun. It was a lot chiller than Guardians of the Galaxy. It wasn't as fast, but the More detail, story. it was so story based, and the detail and everything was really cool and a really smooth ride. So that one, I definitely think, you know, anyone who's at the right height could ride it. Lila rode it too. Yeah, Lila, right. did you ride Rise of the Resistance? Yes. Yeah. The Star Wars, what was your favorite? Well, did you see BB 8 in Rise? Uh, yeah. And the Stormtroopers? I named mine BB-8 because there's two BB-8. Oh, you named your little robot BB-8 too, the one she built. <laughs> anyway, we went over and grabbed some Ronto wraps from Ronto Roasters, which is also in Galaxy's Edge. Um, these are kind of like plate lunch for us. We haven't really eaten much today, but they are some pork sausages with roasted pork, coleslaw. What kind of sauce was it? Uh, like a, it's tangy. Yeah, it was like a tangy. I don't know. Tangy sauce and it's wrapped in like a pita and it's really good. We're gonna eat and then we're heading out of the parks for a while for a break. Before that storm hits us. Good morning guys. Well our afternoon break yesterday turned into an early evening for us. It was just downpouring and thunderstorming all the rest of yesterday so we didn't get over back to the Magic Kingdom to do fireworks. We just may miss out on them this trip which is unfortunate but we've had a lot of rainy evenings and it's just not worth taking the girls out in like downpouring rain to try and see fireworks whether they are or aren't canceled. So we took an easy night, took a rest. We were already on day four of Disney and we hadn't really had a break day at all so we took an early one just ate at the hotel and went to bed early but this morning we're up bright and early and Lila where are we going magic kingdom we have another day at magic kingdom um lila and nora have their cinderella princess dresses on and this will be my parents first day at magic kingdom so heading to the park now <laughs> <laughs> She's telling you how to spin her. 
we popped into the Dumbo playground area by the Dumbo ride so Lila could go play on the playground and we fed Nora a bottle. It is so cute in here. A nice air conditioned playground. A great break for when your kids just need to run out some energy. And this morning we've only done a couple like fantasy land rides. We did Peter Pan, Small World, the Carousel, and then we went and had some coffee and cinnamon rolls over at Gaston's Tavern. So Lila is pumped up on sugar from her cinnamon rolls, so she's gonna go run it out a bit and then we're gonna hop on some more rides, including Dumbo next. Are you, are you blowing kisses? with daddy but I was pregnant so I didn't get to go so my first time here we go ah! oh my goodness ah! going on big thunder mountain say wildest ride in the wilderness a break with Nora while she's napping. And now, we're heading down to the Briar Patch off to Splash Mountain. It is so hot out, you guys. So hot, ready for a water ride. Before it's all gone, we just got a classic Dole Whip float with pineapple vanilla swirl ice cream. Mmm, so refreshing. It's so hot out. Yum, yum, yum. Lila and I sure. We found a shady spot to eat though. Yum, so good. Classic. While we had our Dole Whip, Josh wanted a little bit more of a lunch, so he went to Pecos Bills and he has their new walking taco. We totally remember these from college. They have Fritos and all taco toppings. What'd you all get inside? Uh, Matillo rice, uh, beef, uh, the Fritos of course, uh, tomatoes, black beans. Yum. Lettuce. It was really good, I tried to bite. What do you think, Lila? Are we gonna go ride another ride soon? Yeah. What one do you wanna ride next? Flying magic carpets. Friendship fair show happening, but we may not be staying. The storm is coming for us. Ooh, we're all steamy. My lens keeps steaming. It's so humid out here. We got rained out at the Magic Kingdom. We wrote a few more things and then it was just like thunderstorms for a few hours. So we went back to our hotel, rested, got changed. Now we are heading into dinner at Ohana. And nothing's new. Nora is sleeping again. Y'all, she's been so good on this trip. We're at the Polly. Oh, 
joke where I'm thinking, but dinner's been so, so good. Last day at Disney, heading into the Animal Kingdom. Dinosaur ride and now Everest, which is a big roller coaster. You want to go on Dinosaur and Everest? Okay. We'll see if she likes those or not. Lila, we found Kevin already. We just got here and Kevin's out. All right, Lila and Josh went into Dinosaur. I got a rider swap, so when they come out, her and I can go on a second time. Okay guys, I figured while Lila and Josh are in Dinosaur and little Nora is having a little nap room. She's just napped her way through Disney. It's all good. She's done so good. For everyone who was worried about me bringing an infant, a four month old, she's done amazing. She's been doing lots of naps in the bassinet of the stroller, as well as um, we have an Ergo baby carrier, and Josh has worn her, and she's taken naps so we could do like family stuff, especially at Magic Kingdom. We just were getting on and off rides with her napping in the carrier. Yes, it's hot, but having a fan and the cooling towels has been key, and we just took breaks when we needed them. We haven't done super long days. Most of our days, we ended around like three o'clock went back to the hotel of course that's why we didn't get to any fireworks this trip but that's okay it's just Disney life with little kids you have to take it as it comes we almost decided to make last night with our Ohana dinner which was amazing by the way our last day and just pack up because we had to check out at 11 o'clock this morning from Animal Kingdom Lodge um, and just head back to Josh's grandma's but we didn't get to Animal Kingdom yet in our trip and because once you have like a four-day ticket at Disney to add on a fifth or sixth day is pretty cheap comparatively to a full day ticket. So we'll just ride things as we can and we really wanna to go to the shows. We wanna to go to both Lion King and the new Finding Nemo show. Our plan is just to do whatever we want and then when we feel done, we'll probably get a larger meal, kinda of like midday. This morning we actually went to Boma for breakfast. I didn't film because it was just too crazy as we were getting the room packed and everything this morning, but it was really good. It was a really great breakfast buffet. They had every like normal breakfast buffet kind of things. They had Mickey waffles, they had Simba waffles because it was the Animal Kingdom Lodge. They had bacon and other breakfast meats, breakfast potatoes. But then they also had some really interesting African options. I had some grilled asparagus as well as some really interesting deviled eggs that had smoked salmon on them. And they had a carving station that did like fresh slices of ham. So I finally got my savory breakfast that I've been wanting all week. I feel like it's been really hard to find like quick service, easy grab and go savory breakfast. So if you're a savory breakfast person, you may have to do some research before hitting Disney because a lot of stuff is like grab and go pastries and coffee but I'm a protein in the morning kind of girl so I had to find something so anyway we had a really great breakfast I will link down below um, in the description box of this video some of the resources I use when planning our trip there's a couple Disney YouTube channels that I follow as well as I'll link a couple of our essentials that we totally used and I thought were worth it um, to pack on this trip with a four-year-old and a baby so here's a quick peek at some of the things we did on our last day at Disney at Animal Kingdom We got our popcorn bucket refilled. This has been a great snack. It was like, what, $12 the first time? Yeah. And then like $2.50 to refill. So if you're gonna be here for more than a couple days, that's been a great snack because Lila loves popcorn. Mama's Nora's awake. She loved the Finding Nemo show, didn't you? Nora, did you like Nemo? Yeah. Hi, oh, and we're gonna chew on stuff. Hey Lila, after your snack, are we gonna go on Everest? <gasps> are you gonna be so brave? Okay, gotta be brave, it's a big one. A little nervous to take her on this one, but she really wants to go. Lila, you just 
made it 44 inches tall what do you think are you excited are you gonna hold on tight Yes, I will, because you're going to keep me safe on this one, too. Mommy's nervous. After a full week of random storms, we finally got caught in a Disney downpour. What do you think, Lila? You okay? Did we get wet? A little bit. It was a good thing we had ponchos. By the time I got mine on, after helping Lila, though, I was already soaked through, so whether it helped or not, bring ponchos to Disney. Nora did pretty good, though. You're nice and dry in there. I will say our stroller did a really good job of being waterproof up top. The Lion King. Welcome, everyone. It's me, Simba. We popped into the festival of the Lion King and watched the show for a little bit. That was a great way to get out of the rain, um, but then it was still pouring. When we got out and our strollers, even though we had um, poncho covers on top, are pretty well soaked. So we came over to Chili Canteen in Pandora and we ordered some like lunch dinner. It's kind of like four o'clock-ish, but after our breakfast at Boba, we haven't eaten much else today. Lila, what'd you get? A cheeseburger pot. A cheeseburger pot. Yep. And the um, cutie orange. A cutie orange, yum. What do you think out of 10? 10 being the best, one being not so good. 10 out of 10 is pretty good. 10 out of 10? That's high praise from a four year old. 10 it hits me, so it's not going to be like a cheeseburger. Josh and I also got one of the bowls. You pick out your protein and then you pick out your base. We got noodles, but you could do rice and beans or potatoes or salad. And then you pick a sauce. We did the creamy herb sauce. Um, they had some vinaigrettes and other kind of things too. So these are super good. Nora Newt had a baba. So she's awake and happy. What do you think of the food? Good so far. You want to try a pod with me? We've so heard these taste like McDonald's cheeseburgers. Lila says they taste like McDonald's cheeseburgers. Let's try. I like them. I don't think they taste like a McDonald's cheeseburger though. Pretty good. Good. And they're kid friendly, so that's something. Goodbye, Disney World. Well, guys, we wrapped up at Animal Kingdom and now we are saying see you real soon to our Disney World vacation 2022. Lila, what was your favorite thing from your Disney World trip? So Mount Everest and also Guardians of the Galaxy, right? You've been talking about that one for days. You loved all your new thrill rides. You suddenly have an adventure-seeking child. What do you think, Josh? What's your favorite part about Disney World Vacation 2022? Just watching the kids. I get yeah. more out of watching the kids experience stuff than I get out of it for me. Yeah, we had a lot of fun experiences doing that, watching the kids, see how excited they were for their first time at Disney. But today in particular at Animal Kingdom, one of the things we wanted to do most, Josh and I, Matt working in theater, we love shows, we love theater, we love going to live performances and taking the girls to see the Nemo show and the Lion King show, both of them, both Lila and our four month old Nora were just so enamored with the performers and the costumes and the lights and it was just so cool to see that love of life performance like in our kids thank you guys so much for coming along on our disney world vacation please hit the like button if you enjoyed following along our disney vacay don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on our next video and until next time or should i say see you real soon